Gundam.tk presents Real Grade Sky Grasper and Launcher Sword Pack. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert 184, two hours to bees from GundamReviews.net, and I'm wrapping up my review of the Real Grade Sky Grasper, which of course comes with the Launcher and the Strike Sword Packs, which you can see back there being a little bit perfect if you combine it with the Real Grade Ale Strike, which is sold separately. So, anyway, I've made a list of all the good and bad things that I can think about this kit, so let's get straight to those so that you can make a call whether this is something you want to buy for yourself. To the negatives, and I have to say that the first one for me was just putting together the Sky Grasper was not very much fun. You've only got a couple pages there, it just bleeds into this one. So just two full pages, but at the end I just didn't seem to enjoy putting it together. It came across as being finicky with a lot of small parts. However, this is coming from a modeler like myself who builds nothing but mobile suits. What about people that build jets and tanks and all sorts of other cool stuff like that? If you're more into vehicles, this may be the exact opposite experience for you, so of course, to each their own. One thing that you do have to be very careful with this, it doesn't matter how good you are at modeling, is the little parts. There are little parts all over the place, little color wraps, the kind of things that pay off incredibly when they're put on, but if you lose them under your couch or wherever you're building, they can be a big pro a hassle to find them, and it certainly happened to me there. You're also going to need a Ziploc, and I always recommend doing this whenever you start building a kit. Get one, especially for this one, because it's going to be filled with about 15 little attachment parts. Every one of them has a use, but it just seems when you're putting it together, like they're going to be unnecessary unless you're actually going to go through like I do for these reviews and try it in every possible combination. A lot of these you may never end up even using at all. Now one thing that you have to be a little bit careful of, I'd say the Sky, Sky Grasper looks terrible with its landing gear uh, in its short form. It has front landing gear. It's great that you can pop them on and off. It's a little bit tricky to open up some of the panels, but it's still cool that you get to put them on and don't have to put them in the aforementioned Ziploc. It's just, I don't know why they give you the short one, because I think it looks ugly. It's only going to look good with the tall one in the front. Now, you may have a better idea than I do for how to open up the cockpit. It's great that it does open and show off the pilot inside. Warhammer fans, you can do some great work with that. However, it just seems a little bit finicky that you have to detach the front right now to do it, unless I'm missing something. Now, one of my bigger complaints, though, is that they give you these three pieces of plastic. And these are used if you want to take these striker packs and put them up on a stand and have them standing behind the strike on them which I think is fantastic. The thing is, these are three cheap pieces, and what you have to do to switch it between the launcher and the strike is to open it up and switch this from side to side. I don't know why they don't just give you the option of having one on either side, which would just require four parts. I suppose you could put the things on the front and the back. But then again, if they double the number of accessories, there's so many extras from three to six, you could have both on display at the same time, and I think that would just be fantastic, because then you could have the strike and this guy grasper holding nothing, or holding just one between them, and then have two on the side. Something that for a few cents of plastic, I think would have been great. In terms of the other details, up on the shoulder of the launcher strike Gundam, the uh, gun launcher, whatever you call it, it's a little bit floppy there. You do have a lot of seals, though, that can sort of make up for it in the looks department but it is going to fall down on for you. The sword, you do have to be very, very careful because you've got these great little attachment points that fit into the manipulators. You can imagine, though, that they can go missing when you're swapping things on and off. Don't let that happen or you won't be able to have him gripping the sword properly. And finally, you've got these backpacks. I already complained that these are just three cheap pieces of plastic, but that's okay because that's an add-on. But for these ones that are a fundamental part of the sword and the launcher Gundam, they just come across as being incredibly cheap, and whereas with everything else on the real grade, it screams quality and effort. These ones, I think Bandai just forgot to try. But is it all negative? Far from it. Starting with the unbox, I have to say at the beginning, I was probably a little bit uh, surprised that we got this Sky Grasper. It just doesn't seem to be as awesome as the rest of the kits that we're getting in the real grade line. But all of those uh, fears were dispelled from the minute I opened up the box to look inside and just see how many plates you're getting. Tons of plates, tons of colors. It just comes across as being a real grade in quality. And just some fantastic colors, bright and vibrant all over the place with the green and the yellow. Compared to the two kinds of blue, everything just looks perfectly Gundamish and well worth the money so far. The decals, if you want to go put those on, you can bring it to life even more. The mechanical things are going to look even better when you're building up a support vehicle like this. Something that I choose not to do, but I'm still happy that they give you the options. So let's get on to the Sky Grasper. In terms of the good stuff, I have to say that it looks great. It's got all these little color details all over the place, tons of lining opportunities, the landing gear works. I already mentioned that these things attach onto the front. It's got the pivoting gun up there, the pilot works, and you do even have the ability to slide these forward and back, which I thought might just be a little bit detrimental, but actually I've had no issues with it whatsoever. Now on my shelf, I'm a little bit surprised that I'm gonna be displaying a support vehicle, but now that I've got the strike, we might as well have one up on the stand 
which is probably one of my favorite things. When I was looking through the manual, I said, well, why do you need to put one of these on a display? I think it's ridiculous. And now I'm the, it's, I'm the biggest proponent of this. You put one of them up on a display stand, one of them on the Strike Gundam, and one of them on the Sky Grasper, and you've got a fantastic looking combination. Again, I wish that we only had an extra one of these. To the striker packs themselves though, outside of the fact that the backpack is going to be cheap, nothing about the actual weapons that go on the arms and hence the front of the Gundam that you're actually going to see, none of them come across as being cheap. Starting with this one with color wraps all over the place, the red, yellow and green look fantastic, deckel it up for even more. And then when you've got the launcher cannon, I was a little bit, the first time I tried to move it around, it didn't work that well. But once you just work these things in a little bit, you can get it pretty much anywhere and you can get it across the body, up and down, very very impressive. In terms of the sword pack, it's fun to have the three different weapons on there. The wire part, I'm not always a fan, but if you took the time to bend the wire in the right way, I'm sure you could have it shooting off and looking quite impressive. But it's these extra little details like the boomerang, the fact that you're going to get two in two different sizes, that's a big plus. I'm not a big fan that you have to clamp those things on and off, although I don't know how else you would do it. The strike shoulders, they're just overall impressive, the way that you put this attachment part on and these ones. Yes, it feels like a little bit like a parts former, but overall, I think they did the best that they could with it. And when you move on to the main part itself, the sword, two colors of blue, you've got this white part here which can attach on in either way. No problem putting it onto the Sky Grasper or onto the backpack. The effect part, though it looked a little bit short in the display images, the sword itself is massive. You can see that it just towers over the Gundam, and even though the business end looks a little bit uh, short in comparison, it's still a great piece of display, and the fact that you can have it in hands. You can only hold it in one pose, although you are able to move it up and down, but that one pose looks so good that I have no complaints at all in that department. But I still can't believe I'm saying this, but yes, of all the great things about this, I bought this kit strictly for to put the launcher and the Strike Gundam together. And yet my two favorite parts are the display stand, which I've already mentioned, and the fact that they look so good when you're putting them on the Sky Grasper. It's enough that I want to have three Sky Graspers and three Striker Packs on there because I think having those in a cockpit type scene with a Strike Gundam deactivated beside it, that is the kind of thing that Bandai Hobby Shop Online, they just dream of, selling more and more to people like me. But it's because of the quality and the way the ingenious design that everything goes on and off. It's something that I thought I'd only want to do for the review and then just be done with it. But instead it's something that I would actually enjoy displaying this in all of its variations because of just how fun and well designed it is. So final verdict is going to be overwhelmingly positive, but the only thing, a caveat I'd suppose, is that you've got to buy the real grade strike to enjoy it. Although, then again, the Sky Grasper, I had so much fun with just putting it up on the display stand and attaching the packs onto there that you could at least attach two. But then again, this is all meant to be combined with a strike, as it was in the anime. So if you're willing to spend 5000 and have a Gundam, a support vehicle, and three different strike packs, I think you couldn't go wrong at all. I'd love to take out this, uh, the sprues and just see how many colors there are on here. And though it was a little bit disappointing putting together the vehicle, that's just me and I'm sure a lot of people have no problem with it. The launcher and the Strike Gundams are fantastic, but it's just those details of, uh, of swapping all the things on and off that was a surprising win for me and something that makes me not regret this purchase for a second. And when you combine it all to make this variation of the perfect, that's the only thing they could have done is just if you're going to give you all these little cheap backpacks, how nice would it have been Bandai if they had built one special one, although you can imagine one of the hobby magazines doing that in the future. So now, what about the future? And overall, I'm just am curious about your reaction to the way they chose to do this. With the perfect grade, we got just the Strike Gundam, and then the Sky Grasper came out with the Ale backpack. I'm sure there's a lot of people that wanted the Ale, and they didn't want the Sky Grasper, but that was the only way they could do it. But there are no sign of the other two coming out in perfect grade form in the near future. And actually, I'm not sure if you can take the 160th ones and put them on the perfect grade. I'd love to hear from you if you've ever tried that. However, with the Master Grades, they went in a different direction, with the Ale Strike being the only Master Grade, well, outside of the IWSP and the million of variations. Before we got the Launcher one, that had the Launcher and Sword, which came out as a two-pack, one-strike combo, so there is no Master Grade or 1-100th Sky Grasper. So which do you prefer, the Perfect Grade route, the Master Grade route? I have to say that I really like this Real Grade route. You can go buy more, I suppose, if you want. If you were wanting to buy three bodies, though, you'd end up having three Ale Packs, which would be a little bit strange. And if you want to have three Sky Graspers, for whatever reason, if you're silly like me and enjoy displaying them that much, well then you'd have to go out and you'd just have a ton of different packs overall. So I don't know if they could have done it better, but then again, for 5,000 yen, you're getting all of these amazing features and everything put together. In terms of what other grades could we do, a band, I'd imagine they could be making more grades, and the Strike being the popular monster that it is, especially in the 10th anniversary, 
it would be coming out in whatever grade it is, but this is the kind of thing that just shows off real grades power and something that I couldn't be happier with. Anyway, everybody, I'm going to wrap up there. It's been a long review and a long wait in between, but thanks for sticking with me. Why don't you let me know what you think of the MS, the character, the anime, and everything else in between, not to mention that perfect mode there. Anyway, everybody, stay tuned for lots more reviews and a surprisingly fun build, and I look forward to keeping it on my shelf, probably in perfect mode. See ya. Does anybody know if they actually released a coin for the Sky Grasper?